This is Laura GB and today we are looking at using SVG for KPI icons inside Power BI. Okay, so we're going to start with going and finding our icon first. So I've opened up PowerPoint here and on a blank slide I am going to insert an icon. Okay, so we click on the icons. We go and find one of my favourite icons which is an owl and I'm going to insert that owl. Okay, so there we are, we've got a nice owl there. You can stretch it and everything because it's a SVG file. So if I right click on it and I go to save as a picture and I'm going to call it owl and if you look the type is an SVG format. So we're going to click save then I'm going to go into a text editor and I've come in to Visual Studio Code here and I've got it here the SVG file that's just been saved. So if I click on there, I've got text wrap on here so that I can see what's so all the text and it's worked out as SVG so it's done all the nice colouring for us. Now if I just put in some returns here um, and do some tabbing in you can vaguely start to see what this file is made up of. It's made up of a number of paths that draw that owl. The owl was in different parts, so therefore we can come through here. There's two ellipses, I'm assuming that's the eyes, etc. And we've got multiple paths through here, okay, all making up our owl. And then the last one here is the closing of that SVG. So there. So actually the part the part of this I want is not the SVG tags, it's everything between them. So I'm going to highlight that lot. But if you notice, one thing before we go is I've got double quotes in there. That's going to cause a problem. So just while I remember, I'm going to press Control H. In most editors, that will bring up your search and replace. And in the top there, I've got double quotes and I'm going to replace them with single quotes. And there we are, there's a, a replace all. Notepad++ has exactly the same, all the editors out there do. And there we are, we've now replaced all of those double quotes with single quotes. So I'm going to pick all of that and I'm going to copy it. So now let's switch over into Power BI. And I've already got prepared and here's some data. I've got three people and they've got a score. So if I go to my visuals, here we go, we've got a little table there with three names and their score. I want to put some owls next to them to show how well they're doing. So, we're going to start by creating some measures. So, first new measure. I'm going to call um, owl SVG equals, pair of double quotes, go between them and control V to paste all of that code. I'm just going to tidy up a little bit because there's some spaces at the top there. But that's great. So there's my measure. Press return. And there we are. We can see it's appeared here. Now I'm going to create a, another new measure to convert that into a little picture. So new measure. And I'm going to call this owl, owl KPI equals okay so this this measure is going to have some separate parts now there are some header parts for svg that i use on all of my svgs it's in my blog posts i will put a link down the bottom to what that is and actually i'll probably put in the code here that i am copying and pasting to make it quick and easy for you guys so there is the start of my svg and the end of my svg the important part here is this part here I've just highlighted. That is to, it knows that you have to put it on front of any SVG so that it knows what format it is and how Power BI is going to handle it. Okay. So now let's just go for a really simple, um, let's put another comment in to say we're going to combine the SVG parts. And this is what we're going to return. So shift return put the new lines into this measure 
And so we're going to return. We're going to go with SVG start and percent to concatenate it all together. Our L SVG and another ampersand and an SVG end. And that all looks great. Press return. And there we are, my L KPI has appeared there. So back to our little table here. OK, so click on the table and I'm going to add in my Al KPI. And it looks horrible and it looks horrific. And you go, oh, my goodness, I've got it wrong. So what we've missed, if I click on that measure up here on the modeling ribbon, I've got data category uncategorized. So let's drop that down and let's change that to an image URL. And hey, presto we get our little owls, okay? So our owls appear there, right? Doesn't yet show a score, but it, we've at least got our pictures in there. Now, if your owls are smaller, let me just check what I've changed on this table. If your owls are smaller than that and you want them to be bigger, if you click into the formatting for that table and I put in image there's an image height thing here, and I've put it at the biggest it's allowed to be inside that table. If I make them smaller, I get little baby owls. And there you are, I get a bigger owl. So I want these to be filled up in a color. So we now need to go back to our measure, and we're going to add in some more parts. So let's first of all start by coloring in our owl to be the background gray color that we're going to do. So color owls. So my first variable is going to be a gray owl. So SVG includes a thing called groups. So that's a little G. And everything inside that G will be formatted the same. So then we can put in, my apologies, this is not quite that yet. Then we can put in a style equals and put in a single quote. Remember, we don't use the double quotes here. And I'm going to put in a, it's not file, it's fill. And the color I'm going to put in there is gray. Close the quote. Finish off that opening tag. Put in there my owl SVG. And then put into there the closing of that group. Okay. So let's just prove we can get a gray owl. So I'm going to take out the owl SVG down there. And I'm going to replace it with gray owl. Press return. And there we are. All my owls turn gray. So I'm going to copy that gray, that gray owl line. And I'm going to put in a red. Actually, no, let's make him blue. Red always sounds like bad news, doesn't it? So instead of grey, we're going to put in blue. So that's two owls. And I'm going to put into here a blue owl and SVG end. So that's drawn two owls. And because the blue one was drawn second, it's in the front. OK, now I want to make that blue owl shorter. So I want it to match. Let's just quickly hide that formula bar for a sec. I want it to match this one here so that Alex there, the owl will only be 25 percent blue. I want the blue to be to be the matching the height of the score. So 25 percent is 25 and 60 percent and a completely blue owl there for Charlie and two thirds of a blue owl there for the total line. Right. So back into our measure. Now, SVG includes a method of doing a thing called clip paths. OK, there are lots of ex explanations out there. So we're going to put in a another section to here. And I'm going to put it in as a, a def of clip path. OK. And we're going to put in a var here. 
and this var is going to be our defs. And this is going to equal, okay, so the tags here, so open my double quotes, we're going to have in a defs, which means we'll need to close that in a second. And then we're going to open up a clip path, okay? And that clip path needs a name. So the first parameter is an ID. And let's put into that, um, let's call that a an, an owl clip. I've made the mistake of a double quote. It should be a single quote. Okay. So that does my definition of the, what my clip path is called. Okay. Now inside a clip path, you draw a shape. So I'm just going to try and put some returns in here so that I can read it later. So the shape we're going to draw is a rectangle. And it's going to start. Okay. We're going to draw a fixed one here. And then we're going to worry about how we're going to calculate it. So I'm, I'm going to start with it. The X being zero. Okay. And I'm going to make the Y equal, um, let's go for 60. And I'm going to make the width equal. Now my, my view box at the top there is 96. So I'm going to make the width 96. So it fits so it's the whole width of the owl. And then I am going to make the height equal. So my Y is 60. That means it's 60%. It's, it's 60 um, points or whatever it's being measured in down the owl. So the rest of the owl is 36, i.e. 96 minus 60 is 36. So we go with that. Okay. And that should finish off my owl. So I should be able to put into here a forward slash and a one like that, not two of them. And let's close off our clip path. Close. Let's put a, so that's a forward slash clip path. And then let's close off our defs and put in the quotes. Okay. So that's done all my defs. Right now I come down to, but it's not quite because something's gone wrong in there. No, it hasn't clicked down further and it sorts itself out the coloring. So what I was watching there was the coloring. I wanted to make sure that my text inside strings was brown. So on my blue owl, I'm then going to put into here inside that style string. We're then going to put in a semicolon to finish off the color part. And then we're going to put in a clip path colon the URL open bracket close bracket and inside there we're going to put in a hash and then the name of our clip path which was our clip do remember assume all of this is case sensitive okay now we need to do one more change down here our SVG start we need to include our defs and go like that and press return. And there we go. Always nice when it works first time, isn't it? Well, that's not what I want to click on. Let's click on the outs. Let's go on there to hide the formula bar. There we go. We've got our owls all measured, right? So that's, that's showing what we want, but we want it to be dependent upon this score here. Now, I can't do it actually on that score. I have to do it on a measure. So we're going to bring in a new measure. And I'm going to call this new measure average score. And it's going to equal average of the score. OK. So I've now got a measure. I'm now going to go back to my AL KPI. So on my defs. 
the two bits that are going to change is where the y is and where the height okay so i'm going to have my clip um height first that's going to equal so i can use my measure average score times because the average score of one score is the score so average score times 96 because that's the view box size and then we're going to do var clip y equals 96 minus the clip height okay so now we're going to put into there so looking at my rectangle here instead of that width we're going to sorry wrong part wrong part so instead of that y we're going to put in a couple of quotes and a couple of ampersands and in the middle there i'm going to put in clip y okay so that ends up being close the string ampersand clip y ampersand reopen the string again and then we're going to do exactly the same over here so take out the 36 Put in a couple of quotes, put in a couple of ampersands, and between those two ampersands, I'm going to put in the clip height. Okay, press return, and let's go and have a look. Let's click on name because that hides the formula bar, and there we go. Look, Alex has only got a little L, and there we go, and we've got a full L for Charlie. And about two thirds of an L for the total at the bottom there. So, what we've managed to do there is using the OWL SVG, we've managed to create a OWL KPI which shows based on the average score a difference. So, we've got the two coloured OWLs, we've got the grey one, which is always the full OWL, and we've got the blue one, which is the height of the owl. I hope that helps and I hope that's taken you through it. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now. Mm -hmm.